Hey, you. Yeah, you. Let me tell you something. Are you tired of the TCG being the TCG? You want to play in a format where Final Ressa legitimately has a 100% win rate? Let me tell you about Draft League format, baby. Hello and welcome to the TrueCast Studio, welcoming you to KCC Season 6. KCC is a Yu-Gi-Oh! Draft League. Now, essentially you draft archetypes and staples to build a draft. Um, in this season you can have anywhere from 5 to 8 decks and 3 to 6 staples. Uh, these archetypes and staples are based on a point value system with something like tier element or sprite cash tira being 20 points and something like dust on and crema critter being one point i have a video about this um from two seasons ago doesn't explain the point system but it does contain a lot of information about the basics of the draft league format if you want to go check that out but we're gonna be diving into my draft. So going into draft, um, I didn't have a lot of time to prep. Um, I was fourth overall seed, and seeing stuff like Runic as the first pick into two really crazy staples in Ash and Prosperity go, I had a lot to work with. I was expecting something like Air Element to go first pick, um, but that drop to me somehow so we had a tough decision i've never played tier and and it's a little risky tier needs a lot of high value stuff to really get off the ground i had a decision before me do i pick tier try to high roll risk it for a draft i've never played that i might not like or do i take the safe route and pick up something that will benefit all my decks like a solid staple and i ended up picking up one of the best staples left on the board infinite impermanence i mean the imperms a really solid staple that i it slots into just about every deck i can play and will prove to be a hindrance to my opponent more so than a, i'd rather me have it than my opponent um regardless with some help i had found a deck that I really wanted to play this season. I think it could really work. It only costed, you know, 30 points to pick up both decks and it was really strong. I could play it multiple times per week and it wasn't on anyone's radar. So with round two, I, I could pick up another powerful staple or another powerful deck. Picked up a powerful Amber piece that I could use in said deck and hopefully utilize in the final plan but it turns out later on it would sort of become a bargaining chip to improve some other aspects of the draft and that card is appaloosa being able to uh negate cards is crazy with both of our early round picks out of the way i think it was time to pick up and uh, secure the integral piece of the draft plan. scareclaw the this prevented anyone from picking up some sort of Monadium Pile bullshit, which was a possible route my draft could go if I felt like it. Unfortunately, the plan kind of fell at the shambles when Endless, the tier player, blindsided us by picking up Cash Terra, which was insanely overpriced, so I assumed it was no on no one's radar, though I guess I had taunted other coaches to take it from me to improve my draft, so that's a bit on my heat. <laughs> with no idea on how to fix the plan and with no time to really think about it i just decided to pick up the other half of the core pick up crusadia and not worry about it crusadia is a really nice odk strategy that somehow really synergizes well with scareclaw um and also gives me a really powerful boss monster in avermax so for the fact that it's only 12 points i think it's a steal and unfortunately with only three coaches before my next pick i didn't have a lot of time to really think about what to get next um so i just decided to grab another card that was on the original plan in parallel x um this card is an extender to help me 
it was sort of make Apple and Scareclaw Crusadia and also had possible uses in other decks that we were looking at. Regardless, the pick didn't stay long as it didn't mesh well with the final product of the draft. And it just it just feels like a waste of four fucking points, dog. It feels like such a waste. With Kashnira down the drain and Manati I'm rotting my brain, I've decided to take a fresh look at the draft and try to uh, think of something. I wanted to keep Crusadia Scareclaw as it was a really fun deck that I honestly think could be the backbone of the draft. I wanted to keep Apple and Exceed and try to find some more decks that really utilize the cards, but I was running out of options and I didn't really find a deck I wanted to play that was good and also utilize the cards well. Unfortunately, at some point I snapped, picked up Trap Tricks, and continued to plan, hoping I could get these pesky plants off my hands. And now, the time you've all been waiting for, round seven, okay, come on, it's me. I, I, I had to pick up Raid Raptor. Why wouldn't I pick this up? Raid Raptor Pure may not be the best deck, and it wouldn't utilize our staple lineup super well, but it was a fun deck that can hold its own really funny. With a plan coming together and points dwindling down, I still had enough for a higher tier staple. And I thought Curry Car would be a great fit. It helps break boards. It's a solid card. Unfortunately, it really... Unfortunately, Curry Car seemingly conflicts with the entirety of our draft somehow. And... Um... Unfortunately, I shotgun picked the card because it was the only high tier staple left. So it was really just back to the drawing board to hopefully salvage this mess post draft. But with round nine, I'm telling you, <laughs> oh baby, oh baby, the entirety of our draft plan resides on fixing everything post draft. So really, the last couple picks don't really matter. So we kind of just pick up some fun things. I wasn't really going to keep them unless I really needed to. The round nine, I picked up a Gradle. Um, I don't know. Maybe I could bring it to playoffs. Who the fuck knows? Uh, as for round ten, the last staple, it, it's kind of insane for four points. Um, Terrors of the Overroots, just a removal spell. That sets a dude on board that can kind of fuck up your opponent's plays. And then round 11, baby. Dual Avatar! Let's go! With that, though, the draft was done. And we headed into Gracefield. Where we had a full day with unlimited trades to sort of figure out how to fix our draft. And luckily for us, there was some really nice ways to patch it. Endless had dropped cash because it seemingly didn't work with Tear, if we wanted that back. Ultimately, we worked out a trade with Trey for Prosperity, so we decided to pivot away from Trap Tricks and Exceed in favor of Zombies. We dropped Trap Tricks, Exceed, Gradle, Dual Avatar, and Curry Kara to pick up Eldritch, Vampire, Maikashi, and Summon Limit, making our draft solid, but not the best in the league. With that though, we finished up Grace and started to prepare for our first week opponent, Ethan. With a scary Centurion Horus draft. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to root for us. It's... I can't. I can't do that shit, dog. I can't be fringe ass YouTuber bullshit, dude. I hope you all enjoyed. Comment and subscribe. Really helps out the channel. And if you want to see more, you know, where to watch.